I bet you like arts and crafts, right? I'm going to show you the one gnomes do best, ceramics. Hmm? This is our workshop. Here we use clay to make all the pots we use in our homes. Uh, this is called a potter's wheel. We turn it with our feet. On this wheel, we can mold any shape we want. Bowls, plates, mugs, cups, teapots. And afterwards, we add the handles and spouts we need. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. I can't imagine what these are for. Ah, I see now. This will be more useful. There we are. I believe in practical designs. Now, follow me, please. Sometimes we decorate the pottery before it's baked in the oven, while the clay is still soft. We use wooden stencils like this, and all we have to do is press them into the clay. We usually drink from cups made from deer's horns, but these bowls will do just as well. Uh, what? Ah, uh, no! Uh, uh, Just soft clay you've got. It hasn't been baked yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's enough. Stop laughing for once, Willie. Go and get a candle so you can show me the way out. Don't get mad, David. I I'm going. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than laughing. <laughs> Willie's right. Laughing is good for you. Keeps you young. We gnomes have these good-looking wrinkles around our eyes because we laugh so much. Willie laughs a lot because he's so young. He's only 105. Huh? Here's a candle to light your way, David. <laughs> What's so funny? Haven't you got enough wrinkles already? Oh, for goodness sake, stop laughing. Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> Ready when you are. <laughs> to light our houses in underground passages, we use candles and oil lamps. Because we live underground, we use a lot of them. And naturally, we make our candles out of beeswax. <laughs> Are you all right? I guess I just took a trip. Come on, get up, Willie. <laughs> See you next fall. <laughs> I'm curious about something. Yes? Something I've never understood. Why do we always make our candles outside? Oh, we have to because we use the heat of the sun to melt the wax. <laughs> And I wear these goggles to protect my eyes from the strong sunlight. I understand, but you look funny with them on. <laughs> it's all clear. You can go out, David. <laughs> Thank you for showing me out, Willie. Careful you don't take another spill. Me fall down? <laughs> oh, he says, don't fall down. <laughs> don't worry, David. That other time was on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Beatrice. How you doing? That busy little bee, Beatrice and her friends, turn out the beautiful wax we use for our candles. First, we take the old cells out of the hive that the bees have finished with, and we put them in these big metal boxes. Each one is covered with a double sheet of glass, so the sun can shine directly in. The heat builds up inside and melts the wax. 
This tube has to be kept clear. Through it, the melted wax runs out into the molds we've made for it. This should be ready to come out soon. The wicks are in the molds, so voila, instant candles. This oven where we bake the pottery is called a kiln. Good morning, David. How's it going? Good morning. How are you, Henry? David! David! <sighs> Your bag. Lisa asked me to bring it to you as fast as I could. What do I want with my bag at a time like this? It's for a young fawn. He's got a wire caught around his neck, and it's choking him. Oh, the poor thing. And where is he? It's only two or three miles from here, towards the south end of the forest. We'll get Swift to take us. He can get us there faster. Huh? Call him again. I guess he didn't hear you. This isn't like Swift. He's always right here. Do you suppose he's in some kind of trouble? Yes, I'm afraid so. Well, what are we going to do now, David? Oh, first we better find out what's happened to Swift. We'll go and help the young deer afterwards. Goodbye, Henry. Bye. 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 He passed by here a short time ago. There he is! What's the matter, Swift? Oh, he doesn't look so good. Let me see. Oh, poor Swift. It looks to me as if he's been poisoned. Open up his mouth, please. Sure. Just as I thought. I'm sure he must have eaten something that had poison on it. It's one of the tricks of those nasty trolls. They use a poison that smells irresistible to foxes, and poor Swift fell for their trick. Oh, this sounds to me like the work of that troll they call Holler. Mm, yes, Michael, I'm sure it was Holler. But this time his trick isn't going to work because I have an antidote in my bag. You'll be all right soon. <sighs> I know it's not too tasty, but it works wonders. I promise you'll soon be feeling fine again. Just be a patient patient. Is he well enough to take us to that poor fawn? I think so. What do you say, Swift? Are you up to it? Well, let's go. It's over okay, there, Swift. <laughs> this is the place, David. See? He's right over there. Just lie still, little one. It's that horrible barbed wire that men use for their fences. It causes a lot of suffering. Now then, hold well, this. Well, well, sure, what's it for? With that, I want you to hold the wire away from his neck so I can saw it off. Uh, sure, I can do that, David. Yes, yes, I'll do it. Oh. Uh. Very good, Michael. You're doing just fine. I'm lucky to have such a good helper. That's it. You're free at last, my young friend. Just one more thing to do. What's that for, David? I'll give him a massage with this ointment. It'll take away the pain and relax the muscles. Come on, young fella. Up you get. Huh? 
Try to walk. You can do it. Go on. Good boy. Oh. Feeling better? Be careful where you walk. Goodbye. Bye. All finished, Michael. Can we give you a lift home? Thank you. Uh. Well, here we are. Uh. Uh. Thank you, David. I can't wait to tell my wife what happened. Huh? Well, it's so late, she probably thinks I've been playing cards with the boys or something. She may cut off my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Michael, and thank you very much. And thank you, David. Maybe I should have gone to medical school. Well, Swift, we better go home, too. Goodbye. Hey, you're right. Before we go home, we ought to scare Holler. I'll ask Gustav, the king of the elves, to help us. This is the entrance to his kingdom. Let's go in, Swift. Gustav's throne room. Wait here till I come back, eh? I won't be long. Come to speak to your king. Please announce me. At once. Yeah. Yeah. David, to see you, your majesty. <laughs> so you've come to get my help, have you, David? Oh, you mean you know already what I want to ask you? Oh, of course I do, dear boy. And it would be a pleasure to help you. Mm -hmm. ah, sounds as if you don't like trolls any more than I do, your majesty. Horrible creatures. Tough you find the other pixies. Oh, I'm on my way, sir. already worked out a plan, Your Majesty? You, David, will be in charge of getting Holler to the shore of the lake. Then my girls will take care of the rest. So all I have to do is lure him close to the lake. Exactly, my dear David, and my pixies will take over from there. <laughs> oh, Your Majesty, thank you very much. I knew I could count on you for help. You're a real it's pal. It's a pleasure, David. You don't have to thank me. Now you'd better get started. Goodbye, David, and good luck. Thanks a million, King. Now I owe you one. See you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> that awful smell means there's a troll nearby. Stop, Swift. I can hear the trolls approaching. Two of them. Pat and Holler. <laughs> now, Swift, leave a trail of scent they'll follow to the lake. <laughs> You've got to bring those dangerous things here. I wonder what King Gustav has in store for the trolls. Uh, I hope the elves won't take too long getting here. I'll go and hide behind that big rock. And you, Swift, lie down on the ground. Stretch out and stay motionless. You have to pretend you're dead. Understand? Close your eyes and lie completely still. <sighs> Whoa. 
Snack trick worked on old Swift. I think he's dead already. Just waiting for us. Is this luck or what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 Looks like I put supper for us. <laughs> 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 Watch it. I'm looking for Swift. I'll get him too. You look real good roasted. <laughs> we'll keep him just for us, Pat, and we won't tell pick or pot. <laughs> Here they are. Come on, everybody. Over here. in a fox fur hat. been underwater a long time. I don't want them to drown. enough, my elf friends. Pat and Holler have learned their lesson. I think we should let them slink back to their cave now. Oh, 
we were having fun. Oh, shucks. Thanks for your help, my little pixies. <laughs> Wait, Walter, this way, this way. <laughs> now then, Pat and Holler, you go back to your cave and pick on somebody your own size. <laughs> Stop for me. <laughs> Goodbye, dear friends and slits fights. It looks like just any ordinary knife, but oh, what magic! powers it has, especially when it falls into the wrong hands. David can't let the trolls have its magic powers, but the knife is guarded by some truly fearsome creatures. Join us next time for the fireworks. Make sure to watch The Magic Knife.